our beloved judge here today. I'm really glad that you choose JCA because it's a place that has been here crying out for the public. Because of so many things that have happened, and so many could speak before we, I do, I have to say that it would have been repetitive to start from number one. Because I will say to just this gentleman here, said, you guys were listening to us. And I have to say that, yes, what they're saying is correct. So for that, I'm going to start at number five. It says, please share any thoughts, experiences, or recommendations for police oversight. It has been the uh, consensus that young black youth and police are like oil and water. I, uh, it has to come to a point in which the two can't coincide because we live together here in the city anyway, or in this province. We believe, as a recommendation, that we have to find a way that the youth and the police can start interacting. I would say from maybe grade one. We started sex education in grade one anyway, so might as well start the same thing too. By the time they reach the age of 10, there is a perception against them, whether right or wrong. And it grows up. By the time they're a teenager, here goes the enemy, which I don't want to see continue. So I'm asking the sir that if there's a way in which you can recommend that we start this interaction between the youth and the police, in the next 20 years, we'll all be happy place to live, knowing that it started right here. I go down to number four, which says, we agree that um, having, it says, should the organization collect and make public demographic information regards to race, gender, age, etc. We feel that if this could be made public after a while, somebody will realize that, yes, there is a tendency to lean that there's more things going on with the black youth than with any other culture there is in the city. And I feel that, yes, we should do that because it will show the public the pressure that these young people are under. Number C, number three C says, if someone know, if someone you know had a negative experience with police, would you encourage them to report it? And why not? We would have to ask them to report it, but then again, there could be repercussions. So sometimes it depends on what it is and how it is. Sometimes it's better to be quiet. As a pastor, I would say pray about it. I have to say that we here did not have any negative interaction with the police. One minute. Number three, A said, have you had any positive or negative experience? Uh, we, I put down to say that if it is negative, there's a way of making make it positive. Depends on the question that we ask and the answer you give to them. So in that way now, we said yes, it could be changed. Number two says, overall, how confident are you in the police oversight, we have no confidence at all. Unless things are changed, this lady says to us that the systematic way of doing things is totally wrong. The attitude of the police officers, totally off board. The training is something that has to be taken care of. 
So it's uh, something that we don't really appreciate at all. Time. Thank you very much. I wish we had more time, but God bless you. Thank you.